Because God said, I'm raising my sons who will manifest my glory. I will bring daughters that will manifest my glory. They will manifest. What do you say? Manifest? They won't talk about it. They will walk into buildings and the lights will come on. They will walk into meetings where they are discussing the progress or digression of medical science. And as they walk in, the light shall come on. The glory of God shall come to the earth during these 100 days. You are the son, the daughter of God. His light from you will manifest healing signs and wonders. You know you're looking better every day. Okay, Nick, stop flattering me. <laughs> Good to see you too again. Thank you for making arrangements on such short notice. Is that the Pleasure. one this way? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, you can see where the problem is, Irving. Billy Billy Jr. is just not cooperating. He won't sing any of our tracks. He insists on doing his own. Look, Al, Billy Billy Jr. sells. That's why we want him. It's about the commerce. Now, can you get the CD mixed and radio ready by Christmas or not? I've already got a million pre-orders. There is no point in releasing a project with a singer who won't cooperate. His songs are not just bad. They're bad. Look, Al, I appreciate your concern, but this is my business. I'm not living in India because I want to make an artistic difference. I'm here because this is where the market is. And the market is Billy Billy Jr. So get him to perform your tracks. We need the sales. Look, I'll make it a little easier for you. You get him to perform, there's a few extra points in the deal for you. Let's go hit the streets and grab some food. Come Get on. Maria up first. Really? You really think she's gonna wake up? It's gonna be so hard to wake up her up. What? You <laughs> 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 scared me and my uncle. Really Come on, time to get up. Yeah. It's time to be it's going time. to work.
Aju, can you do me a favor? I'll be back, I'll be back. There you are. Same. Mr. Datta here is the manager of this hotel. He has a couple of issues. Mr. Datta, Sen may be appraised. Well, as I was saying, these hawkers have set up their den right in front of our hotel. Each time our tourists go out, they try to sell them something. Do they enter the hotel? No, no, no. They can't uh, solicit inside the premise. But they stand outside and catch our guests the moment they step out. Has any of your guests complained? Well, I haven't heard of any complaints so far. But you must appreciate, Mr. Sen, that it's bad for our business. Deal done, Mr. Datta. We'll take care of these hustlers. We'll clear them from your front street. All right. But these kids don't really haggle anyone. On top of that, the street outside the hotel is not the property of the hotel management. So you cannot decide what the kids do on the street. Mr. Sen, need I remind you that the hotel pays a hefty amount of city taxes and we do expect our uh, doors and gateways to be cleared of all this uh, riffraff. Need I remind you, these kids are just trying to make an honest living. It's Officer Sen, by the way. I'll make sure our remand home take custody of these children. <laughs> you say remand home? As in the juvenile detention center? Yeah, but it's for their best. Look, all we want is these kids to go out and make an honest living, ma'am. Hmm. Well, the city should make arrangement for their uh, housing. They are a terrible eyesore. If you're so concerned, why don't you bring them over to your room? On top of that, the promoters are the one who destroyed the low-income housing to build your hotel. I think this conversation is highly inappropriate. Look, Sen, I know how you feel. I have instructions from the top. Just do your job or I'll have someone else do it. Of course, the criminals are free, drug dealers are roaming around, but we have to put these hawkers in jail. I wasn't doing anything. Hey, English kid? Anglo one lagi? I'm not English whole daddy. Baggy. Baggy should need. It's an A. Ricky, China or not? I'm a China on the Kinichi. You can ask my suppliers. Kinichi is not too good, is that? I'm going to chona. Hey, soft chora evil. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the
ये डगड़ा ना डाक्सी हमला नहीं ये नहीं ये नहीं ये मर लेगा तोल का ही थे तोल Well, I don't think your feet will know the difference. My brain will. Well, your brain should tell you that you're hungry. Let's go. Hey, Raju. Andy just got busted. Can you take care of his knees for me? What do we know about raising a kid? We would like to help. Yes, but we'll take her. She can watch us while we perform. She's small, can't eat that much, right? What happened to Andy anyway? They ran him to the station. He wasn't even doing anything. You know how they are. They're just keeping us off the street today. Look, I'll get word to Andy, okay? Thanks. Hey, what's her name? <coughs> Meets me. Oh, <coughs> छोटी वाला बोल ची, अभी चोरी के माल बिक्री कोई नहीं है। अब आर बोल, अभी छोटी वाला बोल ची, अभी चोरी के माल बिक्री कोई नहीं है। साला, ओए, अभी दीदी चाय ना, तो रास्ता है चला फिर आप बंद कर दो भैया नीच। Leave her here while we go off performing. We can use my bag and take turns carrying her. Hmm. That could work. Will she fit? Yeah, we won't close it. We'll leave it open. Well, of course we won't close it. I'll cut some holes in it for her little legs. <laughs> we can get some more diapers and form it at the food bank. You still help my mom out? Hmm. But what happens if the cops try to nab us with the baby? Well, we say that we're the aunts or the cousins or something. How can we be Auntie Tula, such a fair-skinned baby? Well, I'm half Anglo. She could be my niece. What? <laughs> she can be your niece. You have a better idea? <laughs> you don't look Anglo no more. Wait. I have an idea. Hey, Raju. Hey, Maria. How's the baby? She's fine, she's fine. Can I have a brown shoe polish? Shoe polish? You don't even have shoes. It's not for me, Raju. It's for the baby. Because she's too light and we have to make her look dark. So can you please? Okay. Here. But I'll need it tomorrow. So bring it back, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, hey. Do you know anything about Andy? I tried to get in, but I couldn't. I heard the cops beat him up pretty bad. He's at the hospital. I don't even know when they're gonna let him out. I hope he's alright. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, thank you anyways. Sure. 
I'll take it off. Yeah, you better. So, what do you want to call her? How about Sugar? Because she's sweet, you know? Sugar's sweet. Sugar. I like that. Yeah. Okay, well, you got yourself a name. Sugar Baby. Little baby has a name. Sugar, sugar, baby. Sugar, sugar, baby. Sugar, sugar, baby. Yo, Al. We got another problem with this Billy Billy Jr. project, man. What is it this time, Nick? It's this, man. This is. Billy's lawyer wants five of his own songs on the album. They want them to be released as the first downloadable singles. What's that? The kid can't write hits. We can't go along with this. If his songs are released first, the whole project will die. The thing is, dude, his lawyer says he's got every right over artistic control. I don't see any way out of it, dude. You know what, though? I'm not even gonna sweat it. Let him write the whole thing. Let him hang himself. It don't even matter. Yeah. And then when the record company gets an earful, they'll be dumping the CD into Nanofield. <laughs> no. I gotta call him before this gets out of control. All right, then. Watch this. Billy! Ha! Nick and I want to hear the new material. Think you'd be up for writing a whole album? Yep, all of them. Ha <laughs> ha, good. Can you come over to our office? Yeah, Nick and I are waiting on you right now. All right, super. See you then. <laughs> This song is about love. Uh, you'll love it. It's going to be a smasher. Nice <sighs> I will climb the highest mountain. I will climb the highest mountain for your love. For your love. Your touch is so much softer than a dove, than a dove. In the Ganges I will wait, your love's forever sway <laughs> with your love. That's great, dude. Come on out. So what do y'all think? I like it. I'm feeling it. My mom thinks it's great. You know what? We'll juice up the tracks. You just bring us the rest. Cool? Yeah. Super. You got anything else? I'm actually late to a meeting, but, um... I understand. It was nice seeing you. Good to see you again. Y'all right. take it easy. It's gonna work out. <laughs> Man, the record company's gonna fry somebody when they hear this, man. Old Irvin's gonna have himself a heart attack. Dude, I'm not spending a hundred grand on lawyers just to get this kid to honor his contract. He was a nobody when we found him, he'll be a nobody without us. We owe the company one more album on him. If he insists on writing his own songs, fine, let him. But I'm not gonna contribute any more material to his. This is looking to be such a waste of a trip. Nah, man. Man, don't worry, don't sweat it. Here. Everything's gonna work out. I'll make a phone call. I know this chick. Maybe she can meet us. She, she might have a friend. All right? Just don't worry about it. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey, what's up? 
Yeah. You want to meet us? We're going to go sightseeing. Yeah, of course. Can you bring your friend? Man, look, Al. I told you all the kids are doing it. Even the Indian kids. Well, most of the people are doing it in the agency. I don't think there's any harm if you do it in moderation. Just because a lot of people doing it don't make it right. These kids are killing themselves. They're living for it. It's all they know. I can't deal with this right now. I gotta take a walk. I got some. Hey, don't forget to pick us up. Yeah. Alright, man. Take it easy. You need a shoe shine, mister? Sure. Go ahead. Is it like this all the time? Like what? Everyone doing crap. Is this what they do? Not me. I won't even touch it. I'm going to be doing what I like the most. Really? What do you like most? Music. I'm going to be in a range of something. <laughs> now that's the plan, see? What do you play? This. Awesome, you're another Stevie Wonder. That's what I'm talking about, man. What's your name? Raju. Well, look, Raju. Doing something you love is neither easy nor cheap. I've been down that route. So you know what? Ah. Here's my business card. When you get going, look me up. I'll see if I can pull some strings for you. Keep the change. One thousand rupees just for shining shoes. Yeah, are they real cute? What do I know about cute? I know that you are rich. Show me the card again. You lost the card. No, I didn't. Be very careful. That's them. Yeah, that's the guy. Wow. Here. No! No! no. <laughs> very funny. I thought it was funny. <laughs> you know what? I think you guys should go see them too. I mean, they're really nice. They could work out, you know? Yeah, they could. Yeah, you guys. You want some crack? Some nose candy? They'll set you flying. Hey, move along, man. We don't need what you're selling. Yeah, don't need your kind of trouble. Oh, well, young girl's got a big mouth, it seems. And a baby. How much you charging, young girl? Hey, how about, how about 50 bucks, you and me? Look, big man, you might be buying, but ain't nothing here's for sale. So you can take your roll of dough and get out of my face before I lose my cool. Uh-huh. Never seen a girl without a price. We just need to be wined and dined first. You think any of us need your trash? Yeah, you're like a slave trader. Only difference is you got the change in their noses instead of on their feet. Let's yeah. move along. We're out of here. Sally, hey Mario. Um, by the way, where's the baby? 
Oh, she's in the room sleeping. You want to see her? Yeah, sure. Let's go. She's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> she's a doll. What do you name her? Sugar. What do you think? Sugar. Well, I think it fits her perfectly. I know. I'm hungry, mommy. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Please give it to her when she wakes up, right? Oh, Max, it's so nice of you. But you really shouldn't have. The money for the clothes and now this? It's too much. Come on. We're all on the same boat. We're trying to help each other, right? <laughs> hey, I just made some dinner. Do you want some? Oh. You can cook too. I didn't know that. <laughs> I try. Okay. Yeah, I can cook. I can cook. Okay. I can, I can cook. Then I wouldn't miss it for my life. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Cool. Uh, girls, uh, I guess uh, you all have heard about Andy, right? Yeah, that's why we're taking good care of sugar. I found my father's last address, and I'm sure he's gonna help us with money for sure. You're gonna take drug money? It's straight up money is money, and it's gonna help sugar. Hold on, hold on, girls. Just hold on. See, money is neither good, neither bad, okay? It's what you do with the money. It doesn't matter where it came from. See, back at the mission, every day we get a number of anonymous donations. God knows from whom. Maybe from some uh, drug dealers whose conscience is bothering them, maybe. But at the end of the day, what matters is that money helps us to buy our food, pay for electricity, okay? My food! <laughs> she burned this food again. <laughs> on my face, okay? Maria. 
Sit, Marco. There's a slight problem, bro. Come here. Come here. Tell me. There was this peddler who was not making his payments in time. So we had to. You had to? Sugar baby. That's an unusual name. That's what the girls call her. Anyways, lateral contusion, minimal swelling of the cerebral sac. She's uh, in and out of consciousness. Any indication of recovery time? No. I've seen them snap out of it in a week and some takes longer. you will do something else so we will have a normal life just like everyone else Are you Maria Gonzalez? Yes. You have to come with me. I haven't done anything. Don't worry. You have to come ID the guy who killed your father. Let's go. Was there anything unusual about this man? I mean, did you see any scars or tattoos? He was wearing a diamond earring in this ear. But I only saw it for a flash. Okay. Uh, Maria, did you ever see this man before? No. I haven't seen my father for six months. And that's the last address I received from him. Hmm. You give me your address in case we need you for further questioning. I don't have an address. I stay whenever. Look, I'm not an addict or a thief. I'm a singer. Singer? You're a singer? What do you sing? We haven't heard you anywhere. My friends and I only sing in street and subways. We're only trying to make a living. <laughs> These days, beggars are also calling themselves singers. Will you shut up? Go get us some tea. Now run! Idiot. Will you eat something, Maria? 
Sure. Maria, keep this. Go get yourself something to eat. Give me a ring in a day or two. We'll see how to nap this maniac. Yeah. You're not gonna throw me in a juvenile center? Why should we put you in a juvenile center? It is for children who need reform. Yeah. Take my card. If anybody troubles you, give me a ring. Okay. David, kindly come to my room. Maria, this is David, our officer. He will take you to our artist. We'll draw this guy with your description. Okay? Okay. And thanks, Maria. How come you went easy on her? Book says she should have gone to a juvenile hall. Yeah, forget the books. My common sense tells me she ain't no criminal. So she needn't stay with the criminals. I don't know. Did anyone ask for your opinion? Huh? Just for a handful of idiots, this institution is earning a bad name. Citizens would rather go to the criminals for help than come to the system. If we have to change the down place, we have to start from ground zero. I just realized something. What? You know the guy that killed Maria's dad? Yeah. He was missing a finger. The last one on the left hand. So we shouldn't be too hard to find then. You really think we're going to look for a killer? We have to. Maria is not going to feel like this thing is over till the man is paid for what he did. Hey. Hey, I heard you went to the police station. Are you okay? Yeah, I just have to ID that guy that killed my father. The chief was nice and he let me go easy. So what are we going to do about sugar? We can only do one thing. The risk of infection is over. But she's still not healed completely. The brains and other internal organs have suffered a major trauma. But who's going to pay for her here? No, we can't have charity cases at 2,500 rupees a day. As soon as she stabilizes, arrange for transfer to a government hospital. Okay, sir. Doctor, there is a reporter waiting to interview you. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll handle it. Thank you. Guess uh, we have to postpone the transfer. Make sure this one has her own private room. We can't waste this opportunity of making an impression on our community. A private room for an orphan from the streets? Isn't that a waste? <laughs> Keeping up appearances is never a waste. When that reporter story hits the air, there are possibilities of follow-up stories. These days, hospital can use all this good publicity, especially with our fun drive coming up for our new pediatric unit. Dr. Mukherjee, don't you think that this is a rather special treatment for an orphan with no known family? We don't discriminate at our nursing home between those who can pay and those who can't. 
Our goal is to provide the best medical care and support to all who need it. Okay, so what's going to happen to baby Sugar when she recovers? Several people have already insisted in adopting her. Uh, I'm sure there will be no problem finding a nice home for her. Excuse me, I'll have to suit her for a surgery. Thank you for coming by. Uh, uh, Dr. Mukherjee, Dr. Mukherjee, just one last question. Um, any indication as to when Sugar is going to recover? We provide some of the best pediatric care in the world. The miracles we leave up to God. Thank you, Dr. Mukherjee. Now this that I'm bringing is true revival. Just there cannot be a shadow without light. And the shadow of Peter fell upon those who had no ability to walk. God said, with this light shall be. There will be no need for commanding words. But God said, the very shadow that shall come from those who have light that has been shown upon them shall come in and this shall be the era of the shadow of light. The shadow of light, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, both particle and wave. You are the light of the world. Let me see your good deeds. Walk in this light. Let God's light emanate from you. Walk in love. Let others see the love you have for these who have not felt his love. For those in the gutters, for those on the streets, for those in their high towers, there is ample love, ample light for everyone. Will you be a carrier of that light? Will you dispel the shadow of darkness that infects the world around you? When light comes, darkness has to flee. Where there is light, darkness cannot rule. Are you really sure we should have taken her out of there? She looks really bad. The nurse said there was nothing else they could do for her. So we're gonna have to do it for her. But look at her, Sally. She's hardly moving. Don't you see she's staring up in space? What can we do for her? I don't know what we're gonna do for her. But I know that we love her. And we can keep on loving her. And I know she'll feel our love and she's gonna snap out of it. She will. Okay. We better get out of here first before they find out we left all in there. Yeah, they're going to be in for a real surprise to see that the doll is left in intensive care. <laughs> I hope she doesn't pee on the bed. <laughs> Me too. Let's I go. go. Commissioner, I want this child found. She's in much too serious conditions to be out somewhere in the streets. Any idea 
who might have taken her. She has no known relatives except one girl who brought her in. Oh, I would like to talk to the person who admitted the baby. I assume it would be your receptionist. Uh, right, just a second. Please get the receptionist to admit it, the missing baby at our clinic. Uh, Commissioner of Police wants to talk to her. Right. My assistant is going to help you. Fine, thank you. Um, I would like to take the poster hanging outside. Poster? Yes. The poster with the picture of the baby for your fundraising drive. Listen, uh, Commissioner, must you announce she was kidnapped from our institutions? We do have our benefactors to think about. Surely she could be found without going public about the incident. I know, Doctor, you have your image to protect. But it is our duty to protect the innocent citizens. And at the moment, we don't care about anything or anybody except this child in danger. You have our cards. Do keep in touch if you get any other information, okay? Good day, Doc. Good day. What are you doing, man? Samshir, I hear you ain't doing things right. We pay you a lot of money, certainly not to mess up. Sit down, sit down. You wanna go ahead? Tell me. I couldn't just kill the girls. One of them had a little baby. <laughs> Too much of the milk of human kindness, is it? This is work. When you come to work, you leave conscience behind. Listen, Samshir. Come here. Come here, my boy. Come here. <sighs> girls, babies. They die every day, in hospitals, in violent homes, in street accidents. So, this is just one more accident. What's your problem? No. No problem. It's okay. I'll take care of it. I admit my brother was a bit foolhardy going on your hit. It was not meant to be a hit. The dude didn't pay us. It was a business decision. He wasted him. I didn't ask him to come. He came on his own. Hey, 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 hey. <sighs> no crying over spilt milk, right? Where are the girls? I don't know, but it's not going to be hard to find. These girls, they are a threat to my brother's freedom. So I want you to remove them. Understand? I don't want nobody to put my brother into prison. Prison? I don't want to go to prison. I want to go to prison. Huh? I like my freedom, man. I want to go to prison. Marco! I want to go to prison. Marco! Go sit down, Marco. Go sit down. There. Go sit down. I told you. Listen to me. 
If anything were to happen to my brother Marco, because of your conscience, you know what's going to happen to you? It's okay, Johnny Bai. Nothing will happen to Marco. You rest assured. Good. Good. <laughs> Control your snorting, man. It'll affect your sense of reality. Understand. All you have to do is, is put some money on the street, okay? We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. Bye. Take care. I can tell you that uh, I think he's working with the Yadovs or something and they're really, really big. In fact, I'm sure even we all don't have them on your files. And uh, like the Billas, the Ambanis. I'm talking, I'm talking lots of money here and thousand rupees a bottle, things like that. Thanks for the info. Um, do you have his picture on your cell phone? I don't have a photo, but uh, I can tell you that he hangs out on Park Street usually. In fact, that's where I first met And uh, ever since he's been studying for four months. Okay, when he left, did he say exactly where he was going? No, he didn't. He didn't really say where he was going, but uh, I think I heard him tell Johnny Yadav on the phone to put out thousand bucks on the street for the girl. See, officer, I, I know I'm no saint myself, but this is what I do for a living. And I'm not out to see anyone being killed on the streets, especially little children. We understand. Here's our card. It has my direct number in there. So call us if you hear back from this guy or if you remember any other information. I just want to talk to you. Let's go. Officers? Officers? Um, if you'll need anything else, just come up and see me anytime. Let's go.
So what you think? You sure you want to turn these cuts over to Irvin, man? Yeah, but we'll give Billy's mom producer's credit. <laughs> Try mine, dude. Yeah. Spicy. Is it? Too spicy. This one's a little too spicy. That's not too bad. Right. You got a problem? No problem, man. No problem. Where are you from? We're from America. America? Yeah. I am from India. I am from India, and I'm in India. Right? So if you're from America, what are you doing in India? Why are you in India? We're here for business. Business? Yeah. Business! I have a lot of businesses. I don't go to America to do my business, do I? So what are you doing here? Look, I said we're here on business, all right? So do me a favor and leave. I know about the business you do. You Negroes, you come in here. Hey, hey, hey. You I'm come in thing. here. You come in here, you sell drugs cheap, you mess up the market. Talk, That's hold the road. Hit you. the road, man. Don't be laying your trash on us. Hit the road. Just go. I'm not laying any Just trash go. on you, man. But I will lay something else on you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Is that what you say? You know what I'm saying? Huh? What happened? Who gave you a seat here? Huh? Then you see him, son! Shamsheer's house! No one will sit here! Look, look, here, here, here's some money. Do like my friend said, you don't want to mess with us. That's, this is money? This is nothing, man. It's nothing. I want your scarf. Give me your scarf. No. Give me your scarf, man. No. I said give me your scarf. <laughs> this time, I'm letting you go, okay? Next time, if I see you here, big problem. Hey, Mr. Businessman. Yeah, give him back his scarf. Told you not to mess with us. I hope these tracks didn't get messed up. No more than Billy messed them up already. We know you killed the dealer over at the project. We have got enough evidence against you to put you behind bar till you're 90. Sir, you tell us about the Yadavs and maybe we can get your prison term reduced. Look, I told you already, I don't know anything about any murder. I don't know anything about any baby. I don't know anything about anything until I talk with my lawyer. I'm not saying anything. Understand? I'm asking you for the last time. Did you kill that man over the cocaine deal? Huh? All the descriptions by the witnesses point to only one man. That is the man with the missing finger. Now come clean, Shamsher. Look, you tell us what you know and you'll get out in two or maybe in three years. You want to make it easy on yourself, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm saying you get my lawyer here and he'll make all the deals that need to be made. Let him make the phone call. Commissioner, this is our golden opportunity. Give me a chance and I think I can break him. No way. This scum will be out on bail within three hours. Son, I'll leave it to tell him.
Shamshir, who was earlier arrested on drug charges and other criminal activities, was caught during assault and robbery of visiting music producers Al Tamas and Nick Barrios. These are the same producers I told you about. They took out Shamshir with the demo of Billy Billy Jr.'s latest album. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Wait, there's more. The police have reasons to believe that the assaultee may be involved in the recent kidnapping of baby Sugar from the hospital and promises to leave no stone unturned to find this baby and bring the real kidnappers to justice. Great. Yeah, we didn't even kidnap Sugar. They had her locked in that room with nobody even loving her. Look, Tara, we know why we took her, but they don't. Maybe we should let everybody know why we took her. Let's do a song and send it into the radio and TV stations. That is a great idea. Finally, something great from you. Finally. Hey, Roger, you got your camera? Um, yeah, I have it. I'll get it. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Max. Max. Uh, I'm sorry. I have some very bad news for Maria. Yes. Shamsher, that guy, before getting busted, put around five grand on the street looking for Mario. So, Mario is going to be a hot property from now for a while. Max, you've got to be busting me, man. Five grand for Maria? Yeah, it's true. You two are the only ones who know we even live here. Yeah. Maria, be cool. Let's do that song. Hey, Max, you still happening on those bongos? Oh, I think and I guess I can throw in some mean chops. <laughs> but uh, tell me, what do you have in mind? We're going to do a song. We're yeah. going to send it into the radio and television stations. Okay. Maybe fine. something like this. Hmm. Sugar lying in a tent. Couldn't move. Couldn't, couldn't move. move. Needed love and so we went down the hall to turn her loose. Sugar baby. 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 Those girls sure can sing. Yeah. Three young girls, apparently taking care of the baby, have composed this song. They claim that the child is safe and they have requested the police to call off the search. The tape was brought in by a shoeshine kid who refused to identify himself. He pointed out the baby's birthmark and said... I wonder if that's the same shoeshine kid with the harmonica. Those girls can really sing. On the religious scene, tomorrow, the St. John's missionaries of charities will feed the hungry and homeless all across the city. Say, Nick. Is that right? Let's say we go find a little shoe shine kid. Those girls could be hot property for our new label. And I got a hunch that they're all in it together. Mister? Hey, aren't you? Uh, yep. Gave you my business card the other day, remember? <laughs> yeah. We need to have a talk. I need your help. My help? That's right. Now. Okay. Put your stuff down. Come back with me. Focus. Okay. I'm going on a wild hunch coming out here tonight. Mm -hmm. But a television announcer said a shoe shine kid dropped him off a tape earlier today. Any chance that could have been you? <laughs> me. What would I do talking to a television announcer? It wasn't me. Got it for you. Take it. It's pretty good, man. Alice thing is delicious. That's yeah, super good, man. Take it. You're gonna love it. I love it. It's really good. Relax. You're good. We're not trying to bust you. We just really like the way those girls sing. I mean, you might not know anything about the baby, 
But you do know something about those girls, don't you? So what you're telling me is that you got nothing to do with the baby? And all you want to do is just meet the girls that you heard? But why do you want to do that? Well, we think they're very talented and, you know... And when you find those girls, you're never going to be shining shoes again. Get the drift? You wouldn't turn them over to the police, would you? We are not saying we don't care about the baby. We just want to meet the girls. Look, we believe they have nothing to do with the kidnapping. We're just looking for some raw talent. Streetwise, not too shy. Those Roger. girls seem to be a perfect fit. Raju, you seem to be a cool dude, right? You can understand that all we want to do is meet these talented girls. And do you know them or not? Work with this man. Yeah, I know them. But don't tell anybody. Have no fear from this kid, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write down the number, okay? The code to get into our place. I'm gonna take the back door. Go in the maintenance elevator. Up to our condo, knock on the door, alright? If we're not there, Miss Ella's gonna let you in. Sounds good? Focus. Got it? Got it? Stick with us, okay? There you go. Look, man, I can't promise anything. Thanks for this, though. You know how things are. The girls don't want to be meeting anybody right now. But well, I will talk to them. Don't thank us yet. Here. Just a taste, all right? Now, keep them safe and out the streets. Can you do that? Can you do that? Yeah. All right. I mean, you keep this kind of money with you? Huh. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Listen, I will talk to them, right. okay? All and right. I'll Sounds keep in good. touch. I'll let you know. That's good, that's good. Uh, I gotta go. All right, man. Okay. Finish that roll. Thanks for this. Finish it right, up. Don't that's waste good. it. <laughs> Put those girls to us. So, son? Yeah. Did you get any news from the reporter. He claimed confidential their sources. I think the kid is better off with the girls. We should definitely tone down our search. What? Shamshir gave our men a slip. Boris has got big money on the street. David, we have to catch some share right away. Right on. I'm gonna get on it. Look, they ain't gonna bust you. I think this is your big chance. But they got everybody looking for us. How are we supposed to get away? Aren't we having that parade tomorrow? We could just melt in with the crowd. Nobody would notice. They really liked us that much, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's something I want to show you. Look at this. Oh, my God. Don't you be making my brown eyes green. They laid this on you? For us? Yeah. I just knew something was going to happen because I've been praying and praying and... We all ought to be praying more for sugar, though. I mean, if she's got to stay with us all summer. There's no telling if she's going to make it. She's going to make it. She's going to make it. She'll make it all right. Listen, you're going tomorrow. Take good care of sugar, okay? I'm gonna go now. I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Fine. <laughs> hey! Hey! Look who's here! Some share, no less. So you've given the police a slip? I hope the trail doesn't lead here. No, Johnny Bhai. No? There's no trail. The good. cops don't know anything. Good, good, good. Sit thyself down. Sit. So some share, 
What do we do about the witness problem then? Johnny bhai, I'll take care of it. You just need to give me some more time. Hmm. We need to give some more time. Everybody in the world needs time. But I don't feel like giving you any time right now. I should be wasting you. You're saying something? Speak up. Speak up. Johnny bhai. Trust me, Johnny bhai. I'll take care of it. I'll kill all of them. I'll shoot them all. Idiot. You are an absolute ass. You can't shoot dames in broad daylight, can you? Because that's going to bring the heat down on us. On all of us. You, me, Marco, everyone. Think again. I'm giving you one more chance. I'll find them. I'll find them on the streets and I'll bring them here to you. For that, we need the photographs. How are we going to get the photographs? Tell me. From the cops. From the police. I got my contact man there, no? Sorab, get across to him. Get the photographs from him, circulate it, underworld. Up the reward. To 50,000. 50,000. <laughs> and then whoever brings them in, we'll shoot them as well. I'll do it. God, man. You can't do that. For 50 grands, you need to be patient, man, with the money. For 50 grands, we could ice the CM. The Chief Minister, <laughs> can't we? <laughs> so what's the deal now? What you going to do? We'll, we'll put the reward out yeah. and then we'll have all the photographs circulating and then whoever finds them, we'll go up to the person and we'll say, okay, you bring the person here and they'll bring the girls here. Good boy. Don't fail me this time. Right. Go. Crazy! You play like a mad dog. That's not fair. Ugh. I win. Mm. What time is it? Did you get the prescription for sugar? Oh. Let me go and get it. Yeah. Play again, again. Yeah. so I can beat you again. Confirmed is the same girl. Hey, hey, hey! Easy on the threads, man. Yes, we have got a confirmed news from a source who saw one of them. You see? 
see anything, call me. Okay? But why do I need to call you? If you have to tell them, why don't you let us shoot them? No. No blood on the street. You see anything, Fine. you call me. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, 50,000, huh? Huh? You could seriously change your life. Yeah. Got it? Huh? Huh? Good boy. Good boy. Hey, what are you doing here? You know this is a TV shop? Are you going to buy a uh, TV? Then why are you getting disturbed here? Why? I'm not disturbing anyone. It's not my fault that people come here to watch me. Maybe I'm good. You have got no money. I know. But then why are you creating dancing and all these things and getting noise over here and crowd? What are you doing? You're treating me like I'm nobody. But one day, You'll see, one day, one day, you'll see, yeah. one day, yeah. one day. I will be waiting, okay? Cholun, 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 Jan. Yeah, please clear out, clear out, clear out. Just keep walking. Nobody's gonna hurt you. But I don't have no money. I'm seven. Shut up. Shut up. Huh. Huh. Good. Very good. Huh. You bring the girl in front of the shop and I'll be there. ओके, ओके, दुकान के सामने, जल्दी, जल्दी Sally, where's hey. Tara? Um, she went to get some groceries. Raju, what's wrong? Raju! Raju, what are you doing? Mario was just attacked. By who? The same guy who killed her dad. I think they're coming for you. Let's go. I'm dead, Nita. We gotta go. We I'm gotta dead. go. Let's go. Ow.
And God said, they will walk in and suddenly the lights will go on. Miracles will happen. People will change. Conversions will take place. They will just stand. And God said then the light shall come on. This is an explanation of your next era. In the kingdom, says the Lord of hosts. Okay, so right. Uh, tell me what's the problem? My baby's been sick. It's like she doesn't do anything but sleep. Like she's frozen in time. Yeah, so did she have a concussion? Well, she fell and she hit her head, so she might. I don't, I don't okay. know. Well, her comatose state is just her body's reaction to the shock. All right, let me see her. Her cure, I'm afraid, is not going to come from any medical treatment. You're just going to have to give her some time. How are you feeding her? Well, we just have liquefied food and vitamins and we just use straws to feed her. Right. Well, I don't have a lot of resources out here to help her. But I do have a friend who runs a private lab. I can give you his number. I'm sure if she needs anything, he can do a couple of checks. I'll give you his number. Thank you. Isn't that the baby from the news? Oh, well, I don't know anything, but I think it'll be a lot cooler if you go out and use the back alley. I'll give my friend a call and let him know that you're coming, okay? Thank you. See you,
I'll take that way. I'll take sugar. Sugar, don't you be doing no fussing today. They already like the way you all sing. So just be real polite and real nice. Maybe they'll make you all stars. But suppose they don't even like us when they meet us. I mean, come on, we've never sung anywhere but subways and street corners. I mean, these dudes, they're used to the best. They may not even like us. Relax. We're good and they know it. If they ask Raju about us, they must be interested in us. Didn't you say they heard our tape on the television? Oh, yeah, and they loved it. Just chill. My, my. I was told some people would be coming over. Come on in. Here, have some soft drinks. Please help yourselves. Anything you need, you just let me know. The baby of yours surely looked dirty. Shall we go and wash her up? It has been a while. Priscilla, can I please make a phone call? There's something I need to get off my chest. Okay, just, just hold on for a minute. Everybody. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello there. I would shake your hand, but you know. <laughs> well, look at this. We got a live one here. What is your name? I thought the baby you guys had was in a coma. Well, she was until the shadow of the cross passed over during the festival. It healed her. And I had to jump on the car to make way, and then... Yeah, the man got out, started screaming at him, and then all of a sudden... Sugar started wailing like someone stuck him with a pen. <laughs> That's the wildest thing I ever heard, man. I'll tell you what, if the police knew that, they'd probably call off the search. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if we make a movie of Sugar, you know, send it to the news, let everybody know that she's all right? Maybe that would take the heat off you guys. Mm. <laughs> we can do that. Just make a movie right here. Of course we can do that, man. Al's got the most laid out equipment. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. Entered the mark WB08 on the tag. Look, Ashok, you're my friend, right? I can't help you, but you know what? Most of my clients do not like their identities known. You know? uh, they like it top secret. You know, what with all these kidnappings and ransoms and all that kind of jazz? 
We don't like their names known. That's why they take the cars from us. Dora, you do not want me to come here and tear this place down so bad. The only thing you're left with is the Bengal board and the grease on the cement and maybe your family. Right, right, right. Easy, huh? Now, the car that you're looking for is a black Mercedes. And all that I know is they pay cash. We just collect the rentals at a very discreet location every Friday. Friday? That's what you said. Tomorrow. Look, I'll help you. Because you're my friend, right? But if word goes out that I have helped you, then I am a dead man. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. This will show the cops that the child's okay. Maybe they'll call off the search and forget the entire thing. It seems like they're making a big deal out of one missing baby. No, Al. It's not just about the missing baby. Maria and Tara both saw the murderer. That's why everybody in the city is going insane. Man, that dude that tried to shake us down. He's the craziest that's been putting everybody in a cold freeze. But we knocked them out with Billy's greatest hits, huh? <laughs> Only it ain't so funny anymore. These girls ain't gonna be safe till those dudes are locked up. Well, perhaps you could explain the whole situation to the police and ask for protection. No, the police think that we kidnapped Sugar from the hospital. If we go near them, they'll arrest us for sure. Well, Nick, why don't you adopt the baby? You know, it, all those high-powered lawyers of yours, who you buy those flashy cars for, I'm sure they could arrange it. Yeah, Nick. You said you always wanted to be a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great idea. I'll go and see the lunch. Now, you girls are probably wondering why you're here. Well, Nick and I were looking for a new group to sing these songs Billy Billy Jr. never recorded. We finished the tracks, but he refused to sing. So... You want us to sing them? But we've only sung in subways and street corners. We saw what you guys did for Sugar on the newscast. We know you got what it takes. We know you got the flavor. Let me put on one of the tracks. Al's gonna help you out with the melody. Ladies, now, you have no reason to be nervous. Just let it rip, okay? Nick is gonna help you with the beat. I got you on the track, okay? All right. You're rolling. Wipe away your tears. Sugar, sugar, baby. Got to hold on it. These are the three girls you wanted to sign? They're great. Best thing you've ever brought us. That Billy Billy Jr. project, it's a total waste. Now, how is it you could bring us something this good after bringing me that piece of dreck? Look, he wanted to do his own songs, Irving. Success went to his head. He thought he was great and he acted as such. We couldn't tell him he couldn't write songs. I can't afford the anguish of litigation. You gave us creative control, and then when you renegotiated with Billy, you took that away. You gave that little brat everything, and yet you'll still ship gold. Oh yeah, we'll ship gold, but it's the returns. Okay, let's talk about these girls. They're the ones with the baby, right? Correct. I understand last night the police started turning up the heat. Are they gonna come forward? Look. The girls want to cooperate, but they don't want to lose the baby. 
Well, I'll tell you what. We won 200,000 for the album plus 15 points. A three year contract with a mutually renewable option and a guaranteed promotional budget of 250,000 along with tour support. It'll be the hottest seller you have all year. Marge, have Leonard bring in a uh, check. You've got a deal. Now, we'll draw it up, and if all the material is of this quality, I don't have any doubt what you say is the truth. Now, this stuff smokes. I want it on the radio before Christmas. We can have it in a week. All the songs are done. All we have to do is lay down the vocals. But we still have this problem with the commissioner's office. Can you get it taken care of because we want to try and adopt the kid? I'll take care of it. Good. Good. You must really smell money in this deal, Irvin. I think your nose has grown an inch. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you what. I got a statue in my front room. It looks just like you. I keep it there to scare off robbers. Get out of here before I stop payment on that check and have you arrested for uh, impersonating a music producer. I'll see you in a little bit, Irvin. <laughs> see you, champ. Hey, yo, Nick. That'll knock your socks off and set your head spinning. Girls, come on out. Oh, great. Raju, you're here too. Have a seat. Have a seat, Miss Ella. Where's Sugar? Oh, she's sleeping. Is everything okay? All right. Remember that little tape we made earlier this morning? Well, I played it for Irving at Globe Records International. He didn't really like it. He loved it. <laughs> wait, 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 there's more, there's more. Here's the best news. He's already made a payment on it. $100,000. That's 50 lakhs of rupees. <laughs> <laughs> you girls are through singing in the streets. Irv's gonna put some real push behind this one. $250,000 worth. That's more than a crew, right? You got it, buddy. Whoa! Raju, I know you're not a part of the group, but you deserve a 10% finder's fee. 25 US grand, which is... <laughs> Don't be messing with my mind. <laughs> Raju, you can buy your own shoe store. Yeah, and let everyone else work while you play the harmonica. I know. Man, I'm going to buy something real nice for my mom and my sisters and my, for my brothers. Man. <laughs> so when do we start? I told him we have the finished album in a week. Yo, time out. You told him a week? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you, man? You crazy? One week. We have all the tracks cut. You see how quickly they learn the songs? I mean... Look, you girls won't have to worry anymore. Irvin's real cool with the commissioner, so he's gonna make sure that you're safe and out of trouble. And I spoke to the lawyer and he's almost guaranteed that we'll be able to adopt the baby. <laughs> See, I told you not to fret. Everything is going to work out just fine. Nick, these girls will need a place to stay tonight. We got them a suite at the hotel so we can find them a place of their own. We're ready to mm -hmm. stay here. We don't need our own room. When are we going to identify the murderer? It gives me the creeps to know that Andy went in there and he never came out. I only saw the guy for a few seconds. I'm not even sure if I remember what he looks like. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. We're just gonna go down and look at a few mug shots. I just don't understand. If they had the guy, took his picture and knew that he did it, why let him go? Honey, most of the cops have no brains. I mean, they're too busy sucking up to politicians they let most of the criminals go. I'm not going near that place. I'd rather just stay here and do some shopping. 
Sure, whatever you want. Hey. Hey. Uh, please come in. I don't know if you remember me or not. Yeah. Of course I do. I saw you on television. It's quite a miracle. Yeah, God's been really good to us. We've signed a huge record deal and we've been this road, Doc. We're not going to turn our backs on our brothers and sisters just because we're rich and we made it. Here, I bought these for your kids here. Here at the clinic. I know you were a clinic. You don't have to do that. It's really nice of you. We're having a benefit concert tonight um, for the homeless and for the drug abusers, if you would like to come. That's nice. Uh, of course I'll come, definitely. Okay. so surprised to see me. It's uh, just that you haven't been in here in a while. I know. I know. I've been busy. I've been running. The cops are after me. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I, there, there's some good news though. Okay. Yeah. I figured out who fingered me to the cops. I can explain this. Shamshir, no, no, please, Shamshir.
I'm doing Drop the kid I'm right serious, now. man. Don't come here. Shoot the kid. the kid. Right now. I'm not joking. Right I won't now. drop the kid, man. Drop joking, right man. Now. Drop Can it right now. Drop it right now. We had a lot of people looking for you and that missing baby, and nobody could find you. Well, it's easy just to blend into the scenery. No one pays you any mind. People don't even look at you. They kind of look right through you. Almost like they're ashamed of looking at you. Look, we didn't want to cause anybody any harm. We were just trying to do what was best for our baby. All right, then. Let's just go this way and fill out some paperwork and we'll be through, okay? Come on. Max, my man, what's up? Raju, my god, look at you, I can't recognize you, guy. Like this? Yeah. You know what? We also got ourselves our own flat. Now we have electricity, shower, TV. All my brothers and sisters are so happy. Good, good, good. And you know what? Maria is planning to get me a new automated skateboard. Yeah? Yes. Oh, and they're so. fixing it according to my size. And from now onwards, Max is going to travel in style, you see? Some girl she is, I tell you. I know. Oh, are you going to the concert tonight? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I have the tickets. I wouldn't miss it for my life. They're going to send me the van. And tonight, I'm going to meet really important people. Really important people. I'm going to take pictures with them and I'm going to send those pictures to my kids. You got kids? Yeah, I have kids. I mean, I have two. They're going to the school in my village. Well, I'm not in touch with them, I don't see them much, but we do write to each other very often. <sighs> Great to know. Yeah. I'll be going now. Yeah, sure. You take care. Alright, yeah, yeah. Looking, dashing, rocking, man, rocking! Choose, choose, karo, choose, karo, konsa. Yellow wala, bisupia, yellow. 